Boulevard du Temple, Paris, Louis-Jacques Mondet, Daguerre, 1838. This is a modern copy made by the historian Beaumont Newell of one of the earliest daguerreotypes. It would have been one of the earliest surviving daguerreotypes, but for the incompetent attention of a museum restorer who tried to clean the original, but destroyed it. It's also the first known image featuring people, but actually it's also a marvellous image by any standards. Its sweeping lines, contrast of scale and rhythmic forms demonstrates Daguerre's artistic background. Unfortunately, he became so relaxed after gaining a government annuity of 6,000 francs that he seemed to have done nothing else in his life. The image is perhaps set up as the man having his shoes shine seems all too perfectly positioned and improbably near the street when the pedestrian area itself is almost as wide as the road. By good luck, the inherent contrast of the daguerreotypes suited the rudimentary lenses of the time, combining to deliver sharp and detailed images. In real life, the boulevard sweeps upward to the left, but the reverse view of a daguerreotype creates a movement that is visually more pleasing for those accustomed to reading left to right. Daguerre was sufficiently skilled as an artist to have consciously exploited this reversal of reality. The man and the shoeshine appear impressively steady during the exposure that lasted anything between five to ten minutes. There are also signs of people in the shadowed areas a few feet away. In fact, the street was probably full of people, but their absence shows that no one else stopped for any significant time. The scratches and marks on the plate are perhaps what the restorer was trying to clean up. They may indicate an early production, as later daguerreotypes show surfaces polished to mirror quality. This would date the daguerreotype to 1838, rather than the alternative, 1839. The nearest building, the most critical, shows parallel verticals, proving that Daguerre aimed the camera level to avoid projection distortion. It's astonishing that so early in photography's history, he avoided such errors, which still plague the practitioners of today.